people will tell you, and here's what my examiner said, absolutely not. People will want to say, well, but I can manipulate the nose of the helicopter with the throttle, even without the tail rotor, and I can continue flight and get back to my home airport, okay? My examiner says, negative. In emergency, you want to know what to do. Hey, welcome to day 143, Coffee with Kenny. I'm Kenny Keller, creator of Helicopter Online Ground School. Had to set the coffee down. Day 143, gonna cover a question that you will see on your helicopter check ride. Private, commercial, doesn't matter. They're always gonna ask this. And it's about losing the tail rotor or tail rotor drive shaft, a complete failure during flight. And some people might be surprised. It's an answer that some people wanna give and right straight from our examiners, like that's not the right answer. And before we get to that, I am creator of Helicopter Line Ground School, author of these two top uh, Amazon number one best-selling books, Helicopter Check Ride and Top 10 Check Ride Tips. I did it with 2018 Flight Instructor of the Year, Dan Taz Chrisman. You can get those books below. Just per or pay for the shipping and handling, we ship you the book for free. Paperback available on either one, we send them to you. Again, you just pay shipping and handling. We bought the books for you. So, on this question, it's gonna come up during a check ride. Now, before I proceed, of course, check the manual for the helicopter you're flying. I'm gonna talk about two different helicopters in this example, example both the Enstrom and the Robinson. Now, the same examiner I've known for 20 years in the recent past asked me, he said, Kenny, could you do some videos on tail rotor failures and talk about the differences between the different types of failures? From this examiner, he says, the biggest problem he's having and seeing is people not understanding the differences between the different types of failures that you can have. So take that as your tip number one. From the same examiner I learned many years ago. On the check ride, when the question comes up, you're in forward flight, let's say 60, 70, 80 knots or mile per hour. Not talking low level flight in slow speed. This is it, cruise flight. You're flying along, and the examiner may get, very well give you a scenario. You're flying along, 1,000 feet AGL, cross country trip, and your drive shaft snaps, or the tail rotor fell, flies off, you have a complete loss of tail rotor in the drive system, okay? Not to be confused with the other tail rotor issues. And he says, that happens during cruise flight, what are you going to do? The answer is, enter, uh, enter auto rotation, look for a spot. If there's no spot available, bring the power back, fly until you get, can see an open area, a safe spot to go to, re-enter auto, go to the ground. Enstrom POH says something very close to that. Same thing with Robinson. So if you're in an R20 or two R44, the verbiage is almost the same. I'm gonna use the Robinson for example. Loss of tail rotor thrust during forward flight. Immediately enter auto rotation. Maintain at least 70 knots. Select landing spot, sight, roll off throttle, and perform auto rotation landing. Note. When a suitable landing site is not available, the vertical fin may permit limited controlled flight at very low power settings and airspeeds above 70 knots. However, prior to reducing airspeed, re-enter full auto rotation. So you're gonna read that in the R-22, the R-44, the Enstrom helicopters. They all read very similar to that, okay? So flying along, cross-country flight, you've got airspeed. You lose the tail rotor, it's inner rotation, look for a spot. If there's not one available, reintroduce power, fly until there is a spot, and then go into a second auto rotation. People will tell you, and here's what my examiner said, absolutely not. People will wanna say, well, but I can manipulate the nose of the helicopter with the throttle, even without the tail rotor, and I can continue flight and get back to my home airport, okay? My examiner says, negative. In emergency, you want to know what to do. And there's a reason why something broke back here. Drive shaft's broke, tail rotor's gone. Whatever that failure is, what if the tail rotor drive system is busted and it's back here spinning? Could it start eating your tail boom? Yes, it could. I've seen pictures of it. I've heard stories of it. So, 
We'll do some more videos on this, but I want to keep this one at this one only. Cross country, airspeed, and uh, tail, major failure, drive shaft, tail rotor, whatever it is, inner rotor rotation, look for a spot. If you've got an open area to go to, you can get there safely. Proceed on with your auto rotation all the way to the ground. If not, pull the power back in. Keep that airspeed, depending on what your POH says, 70 knots, 60 knots, whatever the POH says, keep that minimum airspeed. Fly until you've got an open area, a field, parking lot, whatever you've got, re-enter your auto rotation. So that's a good one. Check right question, day 143. Please subscribe to our channel and give us a like on the video. And hey, when you subscribe, click the, uh, the button to be notified of our daily video, if you would. And hey, I'm gonna tell you about a special Memorial Day sale that ends the end of the month. For this discount, ends the end of the month, May 31st, right? 31 days in May, 30% off the yearly or the big professional pilot package. I'm going to put the links below that take you directly to those um, sales pages where you, you'll see the discount right there when you go to those pages. So those will be down below. All right, going to wrap it up. Seven years online, Helicopter Line Ground School, heck yeah, we love the community. Um, just keeps getting better. So going to wrap it up. Please like, subscribe, give us a comment down below. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. If you dislike the video. Just make sure you click the dislike twice. And we'll see you in day 144.